I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos I am going to discuss with you Chapter 4 Instantaneous Rate of Change Advanced Functions Grade 12 Few questions Question here is Consider the function f of x equals to 3 times x minus 2 whole square minus 2 Estimate the instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 4 Now I have taken purposely only this part of the question where we need to find instantaneous rate of change at a point and this point is x equals to 4 for us. We'll use difference quotient method. So instantaneous rate of change, let me write what the symbol at 4 should be f of 4 plus h minus f of 4 divided by h where as you know h has to be very very less as compared to 1. Now when students substitute the value, they do a lot of calculation mistakes. Here is an alternate way of doing the same thing. I'll appreciate if you could write them separately. That is to say, you can first find what is f of 4. So f of 4 will be replace x with 4. Find the value, which is 3 times 4 minus 2 whole square minus 2. That is 3 times 4 minus 2 is 2, right? 2 square minus 2, 2 square is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10. So f of 4 is 10 for you. Now what is f of 4 plus h? Now 4 plus h is substitute 4 plus h for x. So we get 3 times. Instead of x we will writing 4 plus h minus 2 whole square minus 2, right? Now we can expand it, so 3 times, rather, first I will simplify this, I can write this as 3 times, 4 minus 2 is 2, right, so let me write this as 2 plus h whole square minus 2. Now I will expand it, so I get 2 square, which is 4, plus 2ab, 4h, plus h square, minus 2. Now remember, if h is very, very small, then h square will be approaching 0, correct? So in this equation, we can write h square as 0. So it comes down to 3 times 4 plus 4h minus 2. So what we did here was that since h is approaching 0, we took off this term. Okay. Now at this stage you can open the bracket, simplify it a bit. So you get 3 times 4 as 12 plus 3 times 4 as 12h minus 2 and that is indeed equals to 12h plus 10. Okay. So we found the values of f of 4 which is equation 1 for us and f of 4 plus h. Now instantaneous rate of change is their difference divided by h, correct? So let me write down instantaneous rate of change. So some of you also write instantaneous rate of change like this. Either way, right? So we'll say instantaneous rate of change is equals to f of 4 plus h which is 12h plus 10 take away f of 4 which is 10 divided by h. So in this case you get 12h divided by h which is equal to 12. Do you get the idea? And therefore you can say that the estimated value, where, why it is estimated? Since we approximated, correct? Now if you don't put h square as 0, we, can, we could get this answer to 2 or 4 decimal places depending on value of h, correct? So the estimated value of instantaneous rate of change is 12 for us at x equals to 4. Thank you.